Zach Levine has clocked out on the Chicago Bulls. He should be a damn shame to himself. I'm going to talk about that. And I'm going to also talk about how long will Chicago keep Zach Levine around. We're going to talk about it. But you know, you got to hear the music first. Come on, yeah. Gang. Shy Boys Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm holding it down on today's episode of Shy Boys Podcast for me and my co-host C-Dub. If you like what you're listening to today, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so every time we drop, you be one of the first ones to know. Now, look, the Chicago Bulls, they had their game against the Orlando Magic, and they lost. 96 to 94 to the Orlando Magic that had played Brooklyn Nets the Brooklyn Nets, the previous night, and they were on their back-to-back, and they absolutely came out shooting horribly against the Chicago Bulls. But the problem is is that the Chicago Bulls were shooting horribly even even more. (laughs) We were shooting worse even more. And I honestly feel like this. Zach Levine, you should be ashamed of yourself, and I don't give a damn how you take it, my boy. It is what it is. Look, I came out, and I believe the type of player that you are. I believe that Zach Levine at one point was top five but after this season he's not top five anymore but that's not the problem the problem is is when you come out after all these rumors started to circulating and you clearly is laying the fucking egg bro you clearly are laying the egg you're clearly clocked out you're clearly a guy who wants to be on the move And rightfully so. I understand it in some aspects. But as you said, you told us when you go out on the court, your job is to play basketball. My guy, you played. I'm going to stand around into the last few seconds until the game is getting close to try to even do anything. How many times are you going to go ahead and go into the damn basketball and just brick and just brick and not play winning basketball? So pedestrian against the Orlando Magic, it was ridiculous. Multiple possessions to where you're standing in the corner, not doing anything. And then when you come and you miss an important dunk later in the game, you get you 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 laughing about it. You should be ashamed of your fucking self. That is disgusting as Chicago Bulls fans who take their time out, especially on this channel. And, and try to support you guys, and you put that type of product in front of us, my guy, you have not scored over over 20 points in the last three games. For a guy that's supposed to be a max, uh, a max contract guy, that's supposed to be a guy who's supposed to be at the top, you know what I'm saying, at least in, in, in the Eastern Conference when it comes to the shooting guard, you ain't do nothing. You ain't did nothing. You ain't did nothing. 37% from the field yesterday, and against the Milwaukee Bucks, a team that we could have beat again, you only did 26%, bro, from the field. Unacceptable. And the thing is, is that now we're looking at all the body language when it's coming from other players and uh, Zach Levine. The, it, the writing is on the wall. It's time to get him out of here. I, I like. I don't even care who, where he goes and what he does afterwards. The point is that this guy has really clocked out on the Chicago Bulls. I, I And most of the time, and let's be fair, I am for a player empowerment. But if you're going to come out and come and put your best foot forward on the floor like this, you can sit your ass down. Ask the team to send you home. Real talk. Ask the team to send you home. Because it's absolutely disgusting to watch you come out and play with such an effort to where we got a question on who you is. I ain't never seen Zach Levine do that after all the years. I seen him have terrible games, but I never seen him kind of clock it in and mail it in just so everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, as y'all can see, I'm really tired for words because on how disgusting it was. And I think that the timeline is, is it, it needs to like the front office needs to somehow, some way start to accelerate these trade talks. Because he's just going to be a, a, a cancer on the, on the team as long as he's on there and he wants to be out. That's just what it really is. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I was going to be on one and say, hey, 
There could be a scenario to where Zach Levine, he can be like, hey, I want these guys traded. The Bulls make a trade, try to help them out, try to get them going, and then, you know, moving on along. I don't see that scenario being some type of thing anymore because I want to see if uh, Zach Levine was going to kind of take the Giannis Antetokounmpo approach, put a little bit of pressure on your front office. They go ahead and make some moves. Boom, boom, boom. Y'all tired. Y'all shake hands, hug a little bit. Kumbaya. Go ahead and act like a president. Kiss the babies and be cool. But not after that. Not after that. That's not a guy that's telling me that he still wants to be here. Not at all. That's not a guy that's still that's acting like he still wants to be here. And let's keep it a buck. He's still a great player. You know what I'm saying? He's still one of the top players in his league, no matter how you want to put it. But the way that these last two games, you can even count to the, the last three games, even against Detroit, Zach Levine has not been present whatsoever. He has not been pre present with this team whatsoever. So I think that, the Chicago Bulls need to start picking up phone lines because we seen Nikola Vucevic and Tory Craig play their ass off with effort. Even if the bat, the ball wasn't falling in the basket, these guys were putting on maximum effort. I'd never seen Nikola Vucevic play as hard as he did last night, pretty much all season, pretty much all season. He was really trying to wheel these guys on. And Zach Levine, the great player that we know he can be, pretty much said, screw everybody. He pretty much said, screw everybody. And he should be a fucking shame of himself. Missing layup after layup after layup. In his career, going from zero to three feet, Zach Levine is 69%. This season, he's 61%. The last two games before that second half, he was one for 12, bro. One for 12, bro. From easy gimmies, and he's smoking them. And now there's other things that's starting to come out about Zach Levine that's talking about, hey, he. Th there are times to where people during certain, he's not holding himself accountable. He's looking and, you know, his behavior is not, you know, rubbing right with the team. And that's kind of going and looking at how everything kind of transpired last season when Goran Dragic was reported yelling at Zach Levine. Nikola Vucevic was reported for yelling at Zach Levine and the way his attitude was. And that's why. He, it, it, and now it's starting to all time self. It's all starting to tie itself back into this whole thing. And honestly, me, C-Dub, and Kev, we was on a live call. We was like, hey. If he's going to come out and play like this, bench him again. What, what's the point at this point? What is, what is the reason at this point? What is the reason to even have him out here lollygagging and screwing up everything? For what? If he already doesn't even want to be here. I said that he had a point. The thing, this, this team has ran its course. Three, four years, same thing, same place, same problems. So if he's the guy to get the hell out the door, Send him home. Send him home. For real. That's how I would approach this thing. Me personally, with all the things considered, I don't see Zach Levine not being traded for another few weeks. We want to continue to put this guy out there for the next few weeks, playing like this, not being engaged. He really was not engaged in this game against the Orlando Magic until the fourth quarter. Until the fourth quarter. And, the, and then in the same thing against the Milwaukee Bucks, he wasn't engaged until the fourth quarter. Go ahead in the fourth quarter, try to hit a couple shots, stab pad. Oh, he scored 19 points. Okay, so what? We don't give a shit. We watch the games. We seen your efforts out there. We can tell you don't want to be there anymore. After you told us that it, your job is to come out here and play ball. You ain't playing your best ball, my boy. Outside of the 51, the 51 point game, trash. Call it how you see it. Trash. That's how he's been. And I'm hoping that we can go ahead and get this whole thing over with because it's annoying at this point. It's really, it, it really is annoying at this point. Get him out of here. Let the guys run however they're gonna run, and we'll cheer on without him. It might be a different feel to the locker room. It might not result in a lot of wins. But if a guy doesn't want to play for Chicago, we don't want you here just like you don't want to be here. 
as no matter how good of a player you are, we will always know that, that you were a good player. You know what I'm saying? With the Chicago Bulls, you became an all-star. So shout out to you. But the writing is on the wall. It's time. It's time. Get him out of here. He doesn't want to be here. Get out here. Get on the phone. Let's not let's not confuse this thing. Let's not make it something that it doesn't have to be. I seen one trade out there with Benedict Mathurin, Buddy Hield, and I believe another player and a couple picks. Hey, I, I wouldn't even be mad at him. Let him go be someone else's issue if he doesn't want to play. Let him go ahead and be someone else's problem because at this particular moment, we got to be done with it, bro. We got to wash our hands with it, and that's just what it comes down to. But, hey, that's my that's my rant for this morning. I'm going to definitely come back a little later with some more juice. But, hey, y'all let me know your thoughts and everything below. How long will we – how much longer will we see Zach Levine in the Chicago Bulls uniform? Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Shy Bulls Podcast. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one for sure. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Gang.